Hi. Hi, hi, how are you? I'm very well, how are you? Good, good, good. Anyways, good to see you, Randeep. The cyclone yeah. seems to have passed. But how have the past two months been for you? Oh, they have been very introspective, uh, doing things uh, or, or spending time doing nothing things, which is always uh, uh, <laughs> pleasurable and I think it's very rejuvenating. Uh, I have, uh, I have, do have an outdoor kind of lifestyle, but I have spent a lot of time at home before as well uh, for preparing for something or, you know, nothing to do, no money to spend. <laughs> so through the years, so it's not been so bad. I've been uh, going back to the basics, doing some reading, watching some shows, which one doesn't get to watch or read when one is working and traveling all the time. So it's been a good break, I think, good pause. Uh, I, you go back to kind of thinking to where you started from and why you started. And it's like a whole a reboot button that is being pressed. For, and hopefully not just for me, the entire world. And we can come back from it rebooted and a bit more responsible and uh, all those things. I so agree with you. And what one thing that I've liked about you in these past two months is you've really been raised. You, I mean, I call you the actor activist. You've really <laughs> been raising your voice for the animals. And that's something I think humanity needs to hear because you mess with nature, it'll mess with you. I have been doing that before this lockdown as well. I've no. been involved in it for the last some three, four years, and uh, I have learned a lot. I've come a long way, and it is a, an endless uh, thing to learn about nature. And um, I think it's very important. It's very important to realize that we have to preserve. Uh, see, nature has a lot of viruses in it already, but it also has a defense mechanism to preserve human beings from it. We are cutting through it. We are eating those animals which we are not supposed to be eating or interacting with. Uh, so those things are now being transferred to us. So we have to be very careful about that and also know that there is a climate change that is going on. We have to have to, as a collective, uh, as, 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 a, as people and as authorities, like countries and, and, and manufacturers, industries, have to be very careful about the exploitation of nature. We thought it was an endless resource uh, some half a century ago, but that is not the case. It is very limited, and we have to be careful with it because we are a part of it. It's not there because of us, as we have seen since human beings have gotten out of the way, nature is flourishing. It doesn't need us. We need it. And that kind of attitude change collectively can help us uh, have a healthier future. And also, Randeep, forget, you know, talking about the environment, yes, you've spoken about animals, but also otherwise, you've stuck to your ideologies. Does it become difficult being in the industry that you are where people tend to travel that safe line? You managed to like, you know, stick to your guns and saying, this is what it is. Must be difficult. Uh, it is, it is, uh, um, it is difficult. And it is also easier because uh, it is hard to walk a path dictated by others. And it is easier to walk on your own path. But the problem lies in the fact that you don't know where you're going. True. So, uh, it has been tough, it has had challenges, but over the years I have also adapted a lot to it. It's not that I have drawn a line in uh, ki lakir bana ke nahi kiya hai. I have done all kinds of movies, I've, worked, I've done all kinds of roles, I've worked with all kinds of filmmakers. I have, uh, so I have also constantly kept uh, adapting to it. But basic quality of work which uh, uh, one uh, owes to oneself more than anybody else uh, uh, has uh, it has I have tried to maintain that I've tried to you know find new things about characters and find new things about myself so as to not repeat myself I was told earlier in my career that I should not even change my hairstyle or anything and I should do the same kind of like D release today 15 years ago and I should keep doing these gangster and cops and that will be the thing uh, I had refused at that time to sing and dance. I found it very funny. I'm not, it's not my voice. <laughs> all of a sudden all these people appear and start dancing. 
but I also did uh, do understand over a period of time that music is a, is, is a fabric of any culture. And since we do not have standalone rock stars as many as we can consume, hence the film music is very important to the fabric of our culture, our, our nation. So understanding that, then I became a part of songs too. In fact, when Dev, Dev Saab died, I was looking at it and as I say, they're playing songs. So what if, when I die, what will they play? <laughs> so <laughs> I did some songs, I did some music movies as well, like Jism 2 and all that uh, movies. And then there was some, there have been some great songs in part of my films. Uh, I don't know how popular they are, but I really love them. But talking about films, I've, you know, I've met you over the years also, but what intrigues me is what is this between you and real life characters, Kabi Charles Sobraj, Diana, Sarabjit, is there, you like playing real life characters? Oh, it's just an easier reference. <laughs> <laughs> you left the secret uh, out. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, I've always been fascinated by not playing myself on screen. In fact, uh, all of my characters in 30-odd films that I have done, none of them is me, but I am all of them, you know? So, uh, that experimentation and then... You also do what opportunity comes to you. You try and do the best of what you get, man. True. So, so these are the things that I was fortunate enough to get, and and I was uh, uh, I was bold enough to try and attempt and 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 be these people over a over a period of time. So I find it very fascinating. But uh, uh, I was wrong when I said earlier that reference it's easier reference. It's 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 definitely harder to find something. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. True. And also, as you know, whenever I meet people, they see your films, people who watched Highway, who watched all the movies you do, he a very underrated actor. Hai. Why is he not, you know, shown more? What do you think is the reason? I really don't know. That has been plaguing me for the last 15 years. And I have, uh, over a period of time, started taking it as a compliment. It is. It is. Because it's better to be underrated than overrated to begin with. <laughs> but that's I'm not coming from a, from a place of ego here. But uh, it is also means that there is a lot more that I can possibly do. And people keep exploring. The filmmakers, the directors keep exploring for me to have the opportunity to do all these things. It's a teamwork. Filmmaking, any role I play... A lot of the credit goes to the people around me or people who are making the film. I am a part of that. So this whole thing of ki, yaar, maybe he can do this also. Like playing Rangrasia after doing D and Risk was, I don't know how Ketan imagined me in that. And I tried my best. And then after doing, you know, so many, uh, after doing uh, Highway and all that to play Sarabjit, to, you know, then to... Never after, I mean, never doing a hand to hand combat action film, really, to be cast in a film like Extraction, which was just bang, bang, very realistic, fast paced, energetic action. So I, I think it, 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 is, it, it happens to you. I think you cannot plan it, it just happens. True. Very, very true. And talk about Extraction, you, was, you were one of the few actors to have a release during this lockdown. And now I hear there's Extraction 2 coming as well. Well, I was one of the few actors who didn't do any work for three years prior to extraction because I'd grown a beard and long hair and become a sick uh, and uh, refused all work, which means also all money. Uh, so I think it, it might, this might be the nature's or, or the God's way or the universe's way to balance it out that and everybody was running around working. I was not doing anything. And then when everybody's sitting at home, Everybody's watching my film. So that, that is just uh, something that happens, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it has been very surreal. It has extraction too. I don't know what's going to happen, but the whole journey of extraction has been very surreal uh, to, to get work in such a big Hollywood blockbuster when you're not new, because new you're ex unexplored. But to get it after doing so many films. So they must have gone through all my films to make this decision to invest, to put me in a money with so, uh, in a movie with so much money invested. So I think that is what you were, what we were talking about earlier. You know, you keep doing things and then it leads to 
something else. But the uh, deepest desire of any artist is to get across to as many people as possible. I had wrote, I had written this line for Rang Rasya uh, wow. in the final court scene, and it's coming true in my life. So from Japan to Brazil, people are exposed to me, my face, my name, uh, and my performance, which is a, a which is a big, big, uh, uh, you know, a boost in the arm, man. So what was it like working with this big Aussie guy, Thor, Chris Hemsworth, doing combat? What was that like? Oh, he's tall and he's big. <laughs> <laughs> to reach to punch him, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, I tell you, uh, he he's such a sweet, humble, and such a witty guy. Uh, he carries his fame so well and, and so unobtrusively that a lot of people here can take a lesson from that. Um, and uh, he was so, he did rehearse, he rehearsed for weeks and he was always there, always so much energy he bring, he brought onto the set. Uh, yeah, it was a great pleasure. I, I'd been an admirer of his work from a movie called Rush. Uh, directed by Ron Howard, uh, which I really liked. And there was some, there's a great personality in that role that he's put in. And even here, I think, of course, through Thor, everybody knows him. But I think even in this movie, he put in not just an amazing physical performance, but a very good emotional performance as well. And on the set, he, he's a very cool guy. I really, I really admire him for a lot of qualities and would like to take from him. And yeah, so I, I, it was a... Great working experience with him. And as you said, three years you were invested in a project, Battle of Saragari, which we are still awaiting release. To invest so it much. Will never really, it will never finish. Are ya, aise to mat bolo. I mean, yeah. you never know, you can manifest miracles, yeah. Yeah, you can. If it does, let's see what happens. But yeah, it's, go on. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. No, no, I'm just saying to invest it. It's a professional hara kiri, but. But you're so invested in it, it will happen. Na? Wo alchemist ka, wo Shah Khan ka quote nahi hai, Om Shanti Om se and you want something, it will, the yes. universe conspires to make it happen. Yes, but I, I'm not the only person involved in the project. Maybe oh. kisi aur ki leni hogi, Bhagawan ne. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but nahi, uh, it's, you cannot be disheartened. I mean, it's, it was a very emotional thing for me, no doubt. Yeah. I have played it off rather lightly, but it has affected me. But then at the end of the day, there is nothing you can do about it. True. You've got to just go on and carry on with life. And this has been a great lesson for me to pick yourself up and get back to work. And But I did learn a lot of good things from it. Uh, a lot of virtues, a lot of virtues of, Sikh, uh, of the Sikh religion. Like what does, a, what is, what does Sikh mean? Josikdai, the person who learns. I had no idea. So I was always a student of life and art and acting and all that. Now I've become more of a student about more things and patience and fortitude and all these things I've learned more from this. So it's been a great teaching lesson. And uh, whether that movie ever happens or not, or people get to see it or not, we did shoot some of it. And there is that character which I almost lived for three years, which, uh, and it is a performing art. I mean, bathroom ke Oscar to tumse gine bhi nahi jayenge. Jab tak log dekhenge nahi, tab tak uska kuch hota nahi na. Sahi hai. Woh, woh thoda sa woh hai, but chalo koi nahi. Or, or karenge, or karenge. I'm sure, and you also, I was here, listening to one of your interviews, you said you have an imposter syndrome. You're not alone. Even Shah Rukh Khan has an imposter syndrome. It seems that after this film, people will know that I can't act. Nahi kar sakta. Why this anxiety? I mean, a lot of actors do have this. Why so? I don't know of anybody else having it, to tell you the truth. Um, uh, for me, I think it comes from the fact that uh, uh, I am not one of those actors. He said, Chalo, come on, let's start. Yeah. I, it, I need to change uh, my thought process and all that. And every time also that I'm trying to find something new, not being impressed with something that was liked or be depressed that about something that was disliked, which have not been many, fortunately. I really start from scratch and I see what I see and I try that. And when you do that, 
you are you can never be sure because there is nothing tried or tested about it you don't know whether you can carry it through the film uh so all those things so those things you feel like you know this time you know it's not going to work out anyways you have an exciting lineup coming you're playing an antagonist after 20 years is it i yeah i've never really in played a villain, villain 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 in any film that i have done so far and i have uh not many villain parts are written very well uh and also you know you, i needed to we are very quick to type cast people yeah. in our industry uh so i never attempted it i never thought of attempting it because it was not something i felt like but then uh, uh, salman has been asking me for some time to play an antagonist in his films and i have <laughs> played two roles in his films which were really appreciated so i said okay why not so uh, it was an interesting experience and uh, let's see maybe if something else comes along i'll do it again so at at after 20 years i am doing things in a new way and doing new things i'm trying to and also we are living the new normal like i'm talking to you across screens i don't know when are yeah. we all going to sit i part of me a- likes it part of me likes it i think after this lockdown is over i forget going to all these banquet halls and cinemas to give re- interviews over and over again just sit at home you know just I agree. Chill, have lunch uh, you know do it on the thing because it is working absolutely it'll save the producers money also yeah you don't need your cameraman one light guy one sound guy poking on top of your head and you know apne aaram se kamre mein baith yaar mazey se interview le kya and what do you think about digital releases of movies i know your industry is also divided are you okay with it I, yeah yeah absolutely see uh there is this whole thing that uh, used to be i am a cinema person i started working uh in leading parts uh, at a time when there were there was film there was no digital my first movie d which released today 15 years ago uh, uh in bollywood uh shot about 1200 cans which is like a lot on digital now you do that so that charm of going to watch a, a film with a collective audience in a darkened theater and occasion it seems it is an occasion for a family for a group yeah. of friends for something to do that i don't think is going to be replaced yeah, uh also that now there is a comfort of these uh, watching it at your home and a lot of these shows are absolutely great and and they can never be in the cinema but you can watch it here and releasing the films on 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 digital it you can get the monetary return but who is number one who's made more at the box office who is this that conversation might now be irrelevant because a show which uh, uh, is is probably not a a a a a release in the theater but it reaches more people so there is a debate as i said an artist wants to reach out to more and more people possible so the concepts of popularity of hierarchy of uh, monopoly might change but not the theater experience of going to watch a film in the theater no i would love to watch extraction in the theater it was always meant to be an ott yeah. film but i was hoping that the first time i see it i didn't see the movie the whole time i mean i hardly ever watch wow. my films but uh, but i wanted to see it first time on the big screen so so there you go you know that 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 whole engulfing environment will never change true and lastly before we go wanted to ask you also the big as we were talking about this digital experience shootings are resuming now they say no intimate scenes do you think it's going to change the narrative in the industry no no it's going to be for a very short while it's just a rather stupid talking point it is never going to be like that the world is never always going to be like this it will take some time to get around to it but uh, no that that will all that will not change movies are a unless they start mo- making a movie about lockdowns which i'm sure there'll be a lot and we will be we'll have to relive through this misery all over again <laughs> i swear abhi to log contagion dekh rahe the baith kar why ah, that contagion, yeah but it's a very good film uh but what i'm saying is that things will come back to normal what yeah. i wish and hope is that it comes back to normal with an introspection that oh, i'm sure everybody has gone in and comes back to the world 
rejuvenated and more sympathetic and to each other to nature to everything as better as a better race collectively and so individuals easy. that is what i i am aiming for all other things will return back to normal this is not the first time that humanity has had to face i so agree with you and better people human beings need to redeem themselves what happened to that elephant is still making me cringe yeah that was very sad it's a it's a larger that is a larger issue than the elephant the elephant i was so very angry about it but it's an issue of human man and human exactly, conflict exactly psychological yeah the, okay. why are we so i don't understand why are we so evil was probably probably put there for a wild boar to save somebody's fields so uh, uh, very harsh punishments for people who harm wildlife should be in place i so agree followed by in a constant way by sensitizing them educating them and and make and making them believe have a sense of pride in them that they are surrounded by these people and government does give them compensation for True. of wildlife destroying somebody's crops uh, crops or houses uh so go into that the wet markets eating wild bush meat has to stop so uh that is something which should not carry on any further uh and we have to find ways of uh, um of development whether it is infrastructure or energy uh, not to go into the most biodiverse place on the country and open a coal mine sure. or or take a road through a national park uh go around it uh find alternate ways of energy so all those things have to come about for us to do this like for example uh, i have not bought a water bottle for some time a plastic water bottle uh, and i carry my own thermos or some other bottle with me or uh, even at home i've got a matka as well so uh, <clears throat> so doing little things but has it stopped the water companies producing water yeah. no water bottles they don't sell you water they sell you water bottles yeah. have they stopped producing it no so the industry packaging has to change if you buy a packet of uh, how do you say i will not use a single use plastic when you buy a package of packet of let's say parve g after you've eaten it it's plastic waste which is probably going to end up in the ocean so that packaging has to change absolutely for so, the change to happen so the world is the, the 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 administration the government the un everybody is telling people that do not use single use single use plastic but what alternative do they have because whatever they consume especially food items are all packed in plastic true so there in lies a collective introspective change that has to come about in the world absolutely थैंक यू सो मच जाते जाते ये बता दो अदर देन एक्सट्रैक्शन क्या देख रहे हो टीवी पे एनीथिंग एक्साइटिंग अदर एक्सट्रैक्शन प्रोबेबली द ओनली मूवी आई वाच्ड मोर देन अ फ्यू टाइम्स जस्ट द एक्शन पार्ट बिकॉज़ आई इट्स सो इंप्रेसिव आई लाइक टू वाच इट गुड जॉब बट अदरवाइज आई बीन वाचिंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टफ लाइक द क्राउन आई बीन वाचिंग बेटर कॉल सॉल ब्रेकिंग बैड आई हैव वाच्ड अ सीरीज ऑन दिस pedophile epstein um uh, many things and then then movies i watched kamyab which was very good then i watched patal lok which was exceptionally written and executed and performed uh, love jaydeep in it so many many things i've been watching here so awesome. thank you so much randeep hope to see you more often across like this or maybe in a banquet yeah yeah no more i'm not going to ever do an interview with you if i, I mean in, in physical uh, space Jiga. you only do it Done. virtually it is better i'm more relaxed okay Same here. thank you All so right. much take bye. care bye take care bye, bye.